less than two minutes to go in the second now, and uh, Murphy's guillotine off the top rope there. I got him a public warning, but it didn't do his opponent much good either. And he's going to try the same, but this time he is watching him and waiting for it, and he just sidestepped. Leaving the elbow to hit the canvas. <laughs> Murphy complaining about his right arm. He was the one that uh, operated the guillotine from the top rope. Quite illegal. Again the punch. We can see it ringside and I'm sure you can at home. But the referee, the other side, has got to be sure before he'll deliver another public one. Less than a minute now. Round two. Lee, some illegal use of the ropes. The referees have to go. A fat chance of uh, separating these two if they don't want to be separated. Yes, he's getting a public warning, is the only way he can In do round it. two, the referee issues his first public warning to quick kick Lee. So one public warning each now, both given in round two, and only. Just about 12 seconds left. Now the leg spread. Murphy the advantage, but he won't have time to take it, make much more of it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Lee showing us just how much he's worried by a leg spread or a splits hole. There's the perfect splits there in the middle of the canvas to show his opponent that he. You can do that as much as he likes. Murphy, how many of you grapple fans at home remember Roy Bull Davis, that famous heavyweight from Plymouth? Well, there is Roy Bull Davis Jr. now calling himself Seconds Homer. away, round three. Round three, four to go. And I only just learned that this afternoon, but I must admit, looking at his face, if you do remember Roy Bull Davis, you'll see his dad and him there on the left. And he's arguing with the crowd just the same as his father used to. Also a rule bender, his dad. But I must admit, a great friend of mine outside the ring. And I'm glad the family are continuing in the wrestling business. He's obviously learned a lot from his father, Murphy. But not all good wrestling, unfortunately. Some of the tricks on the inside. There's another one, punch to the throat. Supposed to be a forearm that lands, but it was the punch when the side of the neck. Oh yes, oh, beautiful. That really was a great tomahawk shot there by Lee. And waiting for another the leg this time. Waiting for it with the arm, Murphy, but the leg caught him. Oh, Murphy in trouble. Great back drop, and it's Lee going falling through. With a cross press, easy for him. In just one minute, 24 seconds of round three, the first fall to Lee. Peter Bates. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, in round three, uh, the first ball to Quick Kick Lee. And a beauty it was, following first of all the arm tomahawk, and then following it up with a leg, one of his quick kicks as his man came off the ropes. Very good move indeed, leading to that fall after the weakness. Three rounds to go. Seconds away, round four. And Murphy doesn't look too ready here to go on. And he's <laughs> complaining still about that arm and the leg coming right across his throat. He's got to go on or give up. It's okay. But he's trying to give the treatment to the right-hand side of Lee's neck and throat. 
He's doing it successfully, Murphy. His throat landing on the top rope. So throat weakness, neck weakness generally, Murphy's idea at the moment. And that punch came up then, absolutely certainly. Not sure. Did the referee spot that? No. Blind side again. Uh, oh, could be a submission there. Yes, quarter Nelson submission. Very neat one indeed. The reverse quarter Nelson submission. And it's Murphy with the equalizing submission in just over a minute of round four. Ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the equalizing submission to Scal Murphy. More booze than cheers, but it was a neat move, and he got his man pretty weak and mostly on legitimate holes, except for that punch. But there's two rounds to go. Seconds away, round five. As we start round five, now Lee's got to keep away from Mose, and Murphy's got to keep away from a quick kicks. Quick kick Lee, incidentally, received a letter from the Japanese office only today saying that his brother Sammy hopes to be coming to do some tag matches in October in this country and of course Quick Kick would love to have his uh, young brother as a tag partner he's been waiting for that chance let's hope it comes off and we see some of that on television should be quite a tag partnership Caught on the way though. Murphy waiting for him. Oh yes, that caught him beautifully. And it's Murphy over the top, caught his arm in the top two ropes. And it's just a question of how he landed here. This penultimate round. Nine. So he's out. He's still arguing with the crowd. He didn't realize it was. He couldn't have heard the referee. Just one minute, ten seconds of round five. And it's Lee the winner on a knockout. His opponent failing to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by a knockout in round five, the winner, Quick Kick Lee.